Hey, my beautiful people, Scorpios, what it do, my loves? Welcome. This is another general reading for Q. Welcome to all of you who may be new and to all of you who are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I wanted to pick up the energy, see what's coming and going out, going on. I wanted to check the temperature, so pull up, pick up these jewels. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to see what we got coming and going out, going on right now. This is a general reading for anyone who may be new. And my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, beloveds, just let it fly by. Don't try to force a story to be your story. If you know this does not apply to you, then you take what does and carry on. Know that you are more than just your sun sign, beloved. So check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus. All right? This is also a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on this video, that was the divine time and that was in store for you to do so. So welcome to everyone who may be new again. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. And I am also an empath, an intuitive and clear audience. Right now we have our beloved DMX. This song is called Slippin', Rising Power King. I feel like somebody feels you're slipping away from them. Like they're slowly losing their grip, their control. I feel like somebody made a, a, a very grievous mistake, a very grievous error in sleeping on you. I think that this is someone who was so used to having control and you kind of pulled your energy back. You kind of took control back from this person. And so they feel like you're like slipping away. You know what I'm talking about? Before we cut the deck, I'm going to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, and ether. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, deity, spirit team, our animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator to shine, a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So what would it be? Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's go ahead, cut the deck, see what's coming and going out, going on. So yeah, somebody feels like, you know, you're slipping away from them, you know, feel like they're and so we have mirror reflects. Can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you? So this was definitely like a karmic situation. This was someone that you was in some sort of relationship with or you was learning a karmic lesson from this person. And I feel as you've leveled up, you've actually, like I said, you've taken the reins, the control over your life. You found balance and equilibrium in your own life, whereas this person was probably used to being able to manipulate to connive, to control situations and scenarios. Um, but I feel like this was someone who reflected back to you um, who you could no longer be, you know? Uh, I feel like this person came into your life at a time where you were vulnerable and um, I feel like it may have started out really good, but I feel like you attracted like a shadow the shadow side of you, like the dark side of you. Hold on one moment. Sorry about that. But I feel like this person definitely was like a reflection. You know, they reflected something in you that did not, um, it just simply wasn't who you were anymore. I feel like you started to grow. You started to evolve. And some of these old habits, behaviors, um, simply just wasn't you anymore. So you started to make those changes internally. I feel like you all just kind of like transformed um, right before this person's eyes. And I feel like now it's almost like you're looking back in hindsight at a lot of the growth. But this person now is also looking back and is realizing like you've changed like whatever control they thought they had over you or whatever control they once was able to um you know, garner over you, I feel like they realize they no longer have that type of control because you've changed and you're not, you're not about the bullshit no more. It's like, you're really just on a whole other level with it. You're very protective of your energy. You're very mindful of who you have around you and you're not wasting your time 
on connections or relationships that's just not going to serve you. So you're not going to be dealing with a whole bunch of, you know, the dun -dun you know what I'm saying, this time around. People who don't, you know, who's not shining. You want to you want to be around other like minds or people who's in a, a, a better or higher position um, so that you can level up because it's like steel sharp and steel. So you don't want to be around somebody that you got to teach. So you got to go backwards to help them out. It's like, nah, you want to either level up or you want somebody that's on your level, but you're not trying to go backwards. And so I feel like you've reflected back on your, your you know, where you've come from, how much you've grown and somebody's realizing and real um, reflecting on, you know, how much they might need to grow up and mature and, you know, to meet you where you are. So right now we have Lisa Lisa and the cult jam. This is called I Wonder If I Take You Home and this is called Full Force. So yeah, with this, you know, the yoke has been broken. I feel like this person was real like like player energy. You know, somebody who would just like, you know, meet women and or meet men and just have, you know, these these little one night stands. Um, you know, perhaps they was uh, dealing with some sort of addictions, you know, because with this energy of like, you know, shadow work, I feel like somebody definitely could be dealing with some sort of, um, you know, they could be dealing with addictions, afflictions of some sort, or they could just simply be in a very low vibration. And so maybe they try to find um, satisfaction and validation by having a bunch of people in their bed, you know, and, you know, that's very incubus, very succubus, very energy vampire-esque. And so maybe this person really was like, um, you know, for a long time, kind of like, I feel this was someone who kind of rode your coattail, but they convinced you that, um, you know, almost like you weren't worthy of them. But in actuality, it was the other way around. You know, it's like they knew they always knew who you were, but because they knew you didn't know who you were, um, they kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like they kind of benefited from your ignorance to a degree. You know what I'm saying? But they definitely was out there doing God knows what, but you broke the yoke. You know, just as I said, by you doing your inner work, healing, by you setting your boundaries up, you know. This definitely led to um, you breaking free of some sort of yoke or some sort of generational curse or even just, you know, cutting the karmic cord. Because I do feel like this is very like karmic energy, you know, with this shadow work. So let's see what we have right now coming in, going out, going on. Far beloved Scorpios. Okay, you got 45 billion cards. So what did I just say about Incubus, Succubus? And here we have it. So you definitely was dealing with somebody who, um, you know, there was like a taker, you know, not very much of a giver. You know, it, it was like if it wasn't serving their highest good, they weren't interested. This was somebody who would take. This is somebody who would never reciprocate. And this is someone who felt entitled. And I feel like to some degree you enabled this behavior. Uh, maybe because, as I said, there was a lack of self-esteem or maybe a lack of confidence within your own self. This person definitely sniffed out your um, vulnerabilities. And this is why they were able to kind of parade around and mask around um, as something greater than they were because they were hiding behind you to some degree. Um, but I feel like once you realize that and you started to do your due diligence of taking those deep dives, of healing thyself, of healing at a soul level and, and going back and confronting some of the problems, the issues that you may have been experiencing from a childhood or from your, um, you know, from familial issues. I feel like that's when you started to break free and ultimately break the yoke and, you know, and ultimately cut the karmic cords. But this energy is still bound and stuck. And it's trying to, you know, it was trying to kind of block you um, from your blessings. Um, it was kind of blocking you from seeing your potential. And um, I feel like this, this very heavy, low vibrational energy. It's almost like somebody raining on your parade or, or putting a cloud over, you know, over your life. It was like a dark cloud looming constantly. And it's because of this person's energy. And so I feel like for a long time, you know, you really questioned your own abilities. You questioned yourself a lot when in actuality, it was only because of the company you see, you know, you keep, you know, you're guilty by association. And I feel like once you realize that, you know, you, you can't be around everybody. Everybody don't deserve to be in your presence. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you are a, um, a light worker, when you have um, a very empathic um, energy about you, you're naturally going to attract to you a very broken, bruised, 
and lost souls. And it's because you have such a very loving, nurturing, nurturing maternal and paternal energy. So you're naturally going to attract a lot of broken people to you. And I feel like this person um, was so broken that they somehow projected um, their brokenness onto you to where you started to feel like you were the problem. But in actuality, um, you were trying to heal and help someone that needed to do their own healing. Um, you can't you know, like they, the saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And I think that that's the kind of dynamic you all was in. You was trying to help someone be their greatest version of themselves, but they was fighting you the whole way. You know what I'm saying? And they was blocking a lot of blessings from coming in because of their negativity and because of the karma they were accumulating by their actions. This person was doing a whole lot of creeping and sneaking and sleeping around because we have, I wonder if I take you home, will you still be in love? So it was like this person was doing a lot of things behind the scenes. There was a lot of secrets um, that you may have discovered after you broke free from this person. You started to see a lot that you couldn't see when you was right there because it was almost like it was hidden in plain sight. And a lot of the red flags went over your head. It was just 11-11. So I do feel like you started to receive downloads, divine intervention from your angels, your guides, because I feel like instead of you focusing on this person as they wanted you to, and as you may have for a long time, I feel like you ultimately started to refocus your energy on the love of thyself. Um, we have Michelle Lay here playing something in my heart. So I feel like something was pulling at your heartstrings and it was the, you know, the very fact that you needed to start loving yourself. Um, you need to start prioritizing your needs and your wants. You needed to start recognizing the love, the beauty that you absolutely exude. This person now, after you've cut them free, is recognizing how beautiful you are. And it says you are beauty in every fashion of the word, internal and external. So for you to be beautiful, not only in externally, but also internally, speaks to how much healing, how much, you know, reflection, how much, you know, deep dives that you You've had to to take in order to, you know, in order to make those necessary changes because you had to look at the man in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? That woman in the mirror, that man in the mirror in order to truly see the windows are the eyes to the soul. And you knew deep down you weren't being your authentic self. You weren't being you un unapologetically because there was a, a part of, of you that was afraid to be alone. And it's almost like you just settled for less. You settled for someone who would, um, you know, kind of leech on you and be like a parasite. And you weren't happy in this connection because because when somebody's just living vicariously through you, um, this is someone, like I said, that does not give much, um, but they expect the world. And when you started to realize that, I feel like it was because you had to, to recognize, like, look, you know, I'm not fulfilled. You know, there's something in my heart by Michelle. I feel like something was really pulling at your heartstrings and it was your ancestors. And they were reminding you how beautiful you are, how much of a miracle you are. And I feel like whoever this was, these could have been family members, friends, people you've known over 20 years, 15 years, people that you've laid down and, you know, procreated life with people that you really invested a lot of time and energy into. But these people came into your life to teach you self-love, self-worth, self value and ultimately how to set boundaries and to not just be people's doormat and not to just, you know, stretch yourself beyond measure without ever receiving anything back. So I feel like, you know, with this family time build and connect I feel like that's what you started to do you had to like create a stronger foundation for yourself and I feel like with this family you started to focus on your immediate family such as your children started to really um, hone in on nurturing and um, strengthening those relationships uh, because that was of more um, you know, it was of more importance to, you know, to take care of the, your children and your own um, wellness, your m mental health and your children's mental health to help them through their trauma, through their pain, opposed to just sitting around focusing on somebody who was just lost, you know, a lost soul. So something in your heart nudged you to do this something in your heart something in you know your spirit let you know that there was a lot of secrets there was things that was being kept from you there was third parties that was happening behind your back and i feel like that's ultimately why you broke free so we have blocka 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 exactly so you started to block out the things that was not making you feel good that was not satisfying you that was not 
making you feel, um, you know, just, just that, that, um, you wasn't feeling rejuvenated. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you have healthy relationships and dynamics, there's a sense of like, it's supposed to come in and add on to the experience, whether that's like you feeling a sense of happiness, a sense of peace, you know, feeling protected in that connection. I feel like you realize like there was no nothing there was like it was nothing there and it was like a lot of it was an illusion a lot of it was gaslighting somebody like painting these you know very beautiful pictures and portraits but it was really nothing there and so I feel like that's when you started to set your boundaries and you started to block these people from having access to you you started to block them from having um, access to your heart um, you know, so you completely cut yourself free. So we have standing firmly on your square, grounded and balanced. That's what I said. It's like you're not with the shits anymore. You're not allowing anybody to come in and toy with your emotions. You're not allowing people to come in and do the bare minimums. You're not allowing people to tell you it's raining when they pissing on your head. You're not allowing the bullshit anymore. You've learned so much from this situation because you've done your own due diligence of healing yourself. And in doing this work, this soul work, in going within and healing healing for real for real and not just saying the words but actually doing the work this is what's brought so much into like you know illumination so much clarity you've learned to like be transparent about what you need you're not going around just going along to get along anymore it's like if it doesn't sit right if it doesn't um, make you feel good if you don't feel like you know this the people are being their authentic self or if you don't feel like the connection is reciprocated in any way shape form or fashion um, you're just not going to put up with it anymore and I feel like this is you you're, you're standing up for what you believe in now you're not backing down you're speaking your truth you're opening up your throat chakra and you're saying what you feel whereas in the past you could have been more passive you could have been more um focused on you know appeasing and pleasing opposed to like really saying what you meant right now we have granique um should i so a lot of y'all questioned you know was on this back and forth should i stay should i go um you know should i give him another chance or should i give her another chance you know whatever it was but i feel like now you know you've made the decision and you're standing firm because you know now that you have done a lot of soul work so much so that like i said you've established a very strong foundation the foundation you thought you had with this person, it was non-existent. That person was painting illusions and lies and what you thought she was investing, what you thought she was building towards, it was all a lie. And so now you're standing firmly for what you believe in. You're not going to put up with anyone or any shenanigans unless this is someone that you know is going to speak your love language, going to invest just the same as you, going to be honest and transparent and forthcoming. So that's what you're you're focusing on. You're not bending or folding on this. Your principles have been established or re-established for that matter. And now, see, look at that. Done. You're fin. You're done. The chapter's closed. It's over. Cycle has been completed. The karmic lessons have been learned. So you're no longer going backwards. You're going forwards, upwards, and onwards because you've learned your valuable lessons. So there's no more ping pong effect. Should I stay? Should I go? Uh, you know, there's no more confusion with that because you know exactly what you want and that's what you're going to fight for. You know that that's what you deserve. You know your birthright is to have not only emotional fulfillment, but financial fulfillment, contentment to be, you know, easy elated, you know, to have a sense of elation in your life and not to just be settling for this, this type of toxic energy, dealing with somebody who like sucks you dry, gaslights, ghosts, play games, flighty, in and out, unreliable, like nobody got time for them type of games or somebody toying with your emotions, having you on this, you know, this kind of like, yin, you know, um, you know, what is, what is that called? Like, a, you know, um, um, give me the words. It's like a seesaw. You know, one minute you up, next minute you down on an emotional roller coaster type ride. Nobody has that. So this is what you was dealing with. She loves me. She loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. It's like you was dealing with somebody, as I said, just mixed signals. You didn't. You couldn't read them. You couldn't get a read. You couldn't get a gauge on how they truly felt. And it was because they was playing a lot of games. It was because they was using, you know, their phallus or they was using their you know, their Virginia to, you know, to 
to they was using it as a position of power so whether this was to you know feed their lusts their desires or whether this was just a way for them to feel validated or to feel empowered um, but this is what they was doing behind your back and they were not committal they were not committed to you this was somebody who came into your life to teach you your worth your value and to ultimately teach you your respect um, your respect is something that's earned it shouldn't just be given and I feel like you just gave this person respect without waiting around um, you know to see whether they were going to to live up to the expectations or to own some of the prom you know to like to 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 deliver some of the promises you know what I'm saying that they may have made you know this is somebody who definitely was very um, boastful you know they could have said a lot of things made a lot of false promises yeah we're gonna get married we're gonna do this and that's probably why you know Gurneek is singing should I and that's probably why a lot of y'all was confused about whether you should leave or stay because there was a lot of promises that were promised to you. This could have been someone that you had a family with. You know, this is someone who could have like really um, abandoned the family ultimately, which was like the straw that broke the camel's back. But I do feel like this person does recognize, you know, your beauty or recognize just how handsome, how uh, attractive you are, um, not only internally, but externally or not only externally, but internally, I should say it in that order. And I feel like this is something that you know, is now starting to uh, trigger them in some way, shape, form, or fashion where they could be coming or growing um, more obsessive or possessive over you. I do feel like you have, and you know, you've blocked them and you've made a decision to, you know, completely cut them out of your life. And you're standing firm on this because you believe that, you know, this is the best thing for you because you may have given this person or these individuals, whether family, friend, or whether colleague, you know, you've given them chance after chance. And I feel like they definitely did not, um, they did not change for the better. I feel like they got worse. I feel like these individuals definitely was, um, you know, taking you for granted, you know, doing things uh, because they thought that they had you on lockdown. Like they really thought, you know, that you were their property, you know, and it's because I feel for a long time, they were able to get away with it, which is why I was feeling like, you know, in the beginning with that slipping, now they could feel you slipping away because for such a long time they had control over you. And I feel like, you know, with this energy, I feel like this is, you know, how they were able to uh, gain this control because, like I said, false promises, um, ghosting, coming back, ghosting, coming back, you know, and so it was a game to them, but it was a game because they was going out and they was having these other affairs, these other circumstances, situations going on behind the scenes and then when those situations got little you know a little dried up then they would return back to you this person knew how loving and caring and nurturing you was which is why they always return back to you and they return back to you until you said um yeah no I'm not no fucking option you know what I'm saying and you started to pay attention to the things they was doing because we have um we have uh Gina Thomas uh featuring Missy Ellett Elliot, and this is called the things you do. So you started to pay attention to the things this person was doing. And I feel like that's what made you realize like, damn, this person is playing me for, for a fucking foo foo. Like, you know, and so you started to clean, clear, cleanse your space. I feel like a lot of y'all purged, you know, and, and did a lot of um, spiritual bath cleansing. Um, you just cut yourself free from this shit. And I feel like that's ultimately what helped break the yoke. Um, also helped to cut the karmic cords because you started to implement some spiritual uh, practices to free yourself up energetically from this person or this energy. So let's go ahead. We're going to get some messages from the African American Tarot. So yeah, the things you started to do to implement the change in your life really sped things along. You got the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So there's absolutely like, you know, this is like the divine rewarding you, blessing you with a new opportunity. This is something that's going to be tangible, whether this is a new love ship, a new job offer, a new home, a new car. This is something that's like, um, it's, it's success. It's opulence, it's expansion, it's like prosperity and abundance all wrapped up in one. But this is coming to you straight from the divine and I feel like it has a lot to do with you completing some sort of karmic lesson. 
And um, I feel like with this song, the things you do, the divine is acknowledging the things you did to heal, the things you did to take those necessary steps to cut yourself free from this person and the circumstance altogether. I feel like you've definitely turned your back on someone who was absolutely keeping secrets and lies, um, hiding things from you. Definitely you listen to your intuition in this regard. Um, you knew that there was a lot of things happening behind the scenes and that's ultimately what led to you doing your own inner work. Um, because you can't change anyone else. The only person you can change is yourself. And I feel like that's what you did. You started to transmute all of that negative energy and channel all of that pain. Um, and you turned it into something powerful, something magical. And I feel like that's when you started to set your boundaries and block this person because you realized you saw for yourself that they was wearing a mask, that they was hiding themselves. They weren't being authentic. And I feel like when you started to do that due diligence, you looked that devil in the face and you said, you know, I, I, I repel you. <laughs> I don't have nothing to do with that. And you told that person, do not disturb me. We have Tiana Taylor saying, uh, do not disturb. So that's what this means. Blocker, blocker, blocker. This is creating like a very protective place, protective um, bubble around yourself, not allowing people to enter, to have access. Some of y'all just completely like, you know, just kind of like... Um, disappeared off the scene you know people probably you know was trying to reach you and you changed your numbers changed your address you just completely um was not available you detached from that energy finalized that circumstance and was like i'm done off to bigger and better you went through a lot with these individuals gave them so many chances but look what happened you learned you know tremendously by having these experiences and that's why things don't happen to you ultimately they happen for you and i feel like you know you've you've reached a certain point where you couldn't do it anymore i feel like you started to listen to your higher self you started to receive a lot of divine downloads and that's what led you to like blocking out this energy and ultimately ending this you know you kind of said you know what I'm going to unburden myself completely and release these people, these individuals, because you started to see through the illusion, you know, that they were painting for you. You started to see that there was nothing but trick trickery here, you know, nothing but gaslighting, mind fuckery, you know what I'm saying? And you being the intuitive that you are, you being the psychic, the clairvoyant that you are, you knew things were wrong. But I feel like a lot of y'all ignored those red flags. You ignored, you know, what your higher self was trying to inform you of, but you finally said enough is enough and I feel like there was a situation that happened that was like the straw that broke the camel's back and I feel like that was, was ultimately what led to you you know finalizing um, you know being in or a part of these type of toxic um, you know toxic and I feel mentally emotionally psychological uh, psychologically abusive relationships I feel like you know look at this 10 and 10 so yeah these these people backstabbed you lied on you and I feel like that's ultimately you know what led to some sort of very painful ending I feel like there was a lot of loss a lot of pain um, betrayal uh, definitely deception um, people that you trusted lying to you in your face um, and I feel like these were people, like I said, that you were trying to help and heal. I feel like these were the people, the very people that you um, was really trying to help. And because you're such an empath, because you're so nurturing, and because you're such a maternal and paternal energy, I feel like these people ended up like backstabbing you after they recovered. You know, after they was fully healed, after they got what they needed from you with this incubus succubus, that's like that leechy, uh, parasitic energy, energy vampire. It's like after they got what they needed, then they just left or they abandoned you in your time of need. And it was because you was like a beautiful soul, a beautiful spirit, very caring, very loving. And um, once you realize that these individuals, whether they were family by blood or family by you knowing them for long time, long periods of time, like people you grew up with for, like I said, since, you know, since the sandbox and they betrayed you, it was like, that's what you, that's all you needed to see. And that's what you did to um, protect yourself was to block out this energy. But with this, do not disturb. You've completely cut yourself free from those 
those relationships, those toxic, I'm hearing in my mind's eye, they like emphasize toxic because this shit is toxic. You know, you didn't deserve to be backstabbed like that, done dirty the way you were done dirty because you did nothing but try to help. See how this man is helping this person who's wounded? That's who you were to these people. And I feel like what they did was they turned around and they abused your kindness. They took it for granted and they just lied and cheated along the way. So let's go ahead. We're going to pick up the energy, see what's coming in going on. on. So divine spirit of love and light. And we have this five of cups. See that? Now there's regret, remorse, because this person is realizing and recognizing just how beautiful you are. Right now we have um, Gary Bartz, and it's called Freedom One Day. So you definitely are free now because you've blocked and because you've completed a cycle. You know, you've learned valuable lessons, and now there's a turning point. Now things are going to start moving again. Whatever was blocked or delayed is going to start coming in for you, which is why that Ace of Pentacles opened up the energy because of what you've been through. So you're being rewarded because the divine is recognizing exactly what you've experienced, things that you didn't deserve, um, you know, and these people are going to have to pay for what they've done. This is you doing a lot of deep dives. I feel like you have listened to all of your spidey senses. These are all eyeballs. So it's like the divine sees all. So whatever was done, I feel like there's going to be a lot of karmic, um, you know, karma is absolutely in play here. So if you were righteous and just in your actions, I feel like you have good karma coming in and it's the opposite for whoever, you know, was doing some, some unjust and uncivilized things behind closed doors. But I feel like for a long time, you were trying to see things with your two eyes, but you started to trust and listen with your first eye. You started to be more discerning in these connections. And ultimately that's what led to you recognizing that something wasn't right. So you feel freed yourself, you know, with this freedom one day, I feel like you finally, you know, finalized um, a very toxic chapter in your life and you finally walked away and you're not going backwards. You're going upward and onward because you've done your due diligence to heal thyself. You've released certain belief systems, ideologies first and foremost. That's what the healing process is, is going within. It's not about projecting and looking for fault in other people, but it's also its own, excuse me, it's about you going within and finding what it is within yourself that's attracting such unsavory, you know, toxic type of relationships. And that's why now, because you've discovered uh, what your love language is, you're now grounded and balanced because you was in balance, uh, you know, with this type of energy. And it was because um, you were not standing firmly on your square. You know, you had to do this, this shadow work in order to discover, you know, what it is um, that works for you and what it is that doesn't and who you were ultimately. So now that you're free and now that you're are able to see I feel like you're going to be able to attract because you're vibrating higher and so that's about you know reflection looking at things from a different perspective growing and evolving somebody else could also be um, being forced to see something with this energy here they could be forced to see like damn you know this was a beautiful spirit and I fucked that situation up and it's because they have their own work to do you know you came into their life to hold up a mirror to them and they came into your your life to hold up a mirror to you. That's why this is mirror reflects. That's why that moon showed up because this is about you know, the depths of the soul, like having to heal at a soul level and get past certain traumas. And some of this stuff is like generational. It's like a generational curse. It's a yoke. And maybe you're like that Avenger in your family that's meant or that was called or assigned to help heal the whole lineage, the whole bloodline. And, you know, and maybe this person is that for their family. But I feel like this is something that they're going to have to choose to do. I don't feel like their, um, you know, that they have started their work. I feel like you could be like activating them in some way or triggering them in some way because they are recognizing your beauty. They're recognizing how beautiful and kind um, that you've always been with them and they've abused it. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. And so the bottom of the deck, that's the Ten of Swords energy. So this absolutely was a karmic lesson. 
and this was which something you was meant to go through whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger this ten of swords reduces to the ace so I do feel like there was a lot of lessons learned there was a lot of epiphanies that came through and I feel like this taught you how to be like you could be an empath but you don't have to be a doormat you don't have to let uh, everyone just come and dump all their shit into your lap I feel like there's a way that you can protect yourself um, while you're helping others and so it's about creating boundaries and I feel like in the past you didn't have any you simply did it you know when people call you would answer their calls whether you were tired when people would reach out and say they needed money you would give um, you know so it was just like you wasn't you wasn't necessarily allowing people to do their work because it was almost like you was doing it for them um, there's a saying that says you know you can't step in all the time and save people because sometimes you're interrupting and interfering with their karma so if the divine is trying to teach someone a lesson and you're constantly being their go-to and you're you're constantly saving them from situations that they've created uh, then they're not going to learn and they're just going to complete continue to repeat these cycles so I feel like you know that's why a lot of y'all got stabbed in the back because you were trying to be you know you had this kind of like this the savior um you know the savior mentality and I feel like when you got out of the, the out of the line of fire is when you were able to take a step back and see like nah the same way I had to do my work I have to allow them to do theirs you could be a point of support you could be supportive um, you could you know um, if they seek advice or you know insight you can provide that but you cannot do the work you cannot constantly uh, be someone saving grace whenever they call or you cannot run at everyone's beck and call because what you do is you wear yourself down and you're not allowing someone to learn their lessons so I feel like for you all you had to learn that and you did you know what I'm saying you did because this like I said this ten of swords becomes the ace and so that ace of swords will ultimately cut you free from the karmic lessons this is a karmic this is a karmic lesson and you've absolutely learned this lesson we see here because you finally made it to the ten so you've been disappointed repeatedly you've been backstabbed repeatedly you've been lied to cheated on deceived you've been gaslighted you've been mind fucked you've been played for booboo the fool you've been talked about defamed people used you abused you but they didn't take you out because this 10 reduces to the ace so not only did that give you the wisdom the wise dome but it also gave you the possession of that sword to now cut yourself free and cut those yoke break those generational curses and cut the karmic cords from you and these individuals and it also gave you the illumination and clarity to see yourself in the situation opposed to just seeing the harm and you know the negativity that was done to you it was like you had to see yourself and so this is you looking at yourself saving everybody being everybody's you know you know being everybody's saving grace but you you started to reflect and what you've learned was you had to set up healthy boundaries and that you can't save people who's not trying to save themselves or you can't help people who's not willing to help themselves so this is you you know taking that necessary time out to reflect you're learning here this is a very teachable moment the divine will sit you on your ass to help you to see and I feel like this is why there was like you know this um this energy of blocking out you know all of the distractions because a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention but if you are blind um you know if you have this um what do you call that um oh my god blindfold on your eyes thank you spirit then you're not going to um, be able to see with your two eyes so you can't get distracted but I, I feel like you started to listen to your intuitions you started to look at things from a different perspective you started to be more discerning I feel this also is um, speaking to the person you was dealing with maybe they're now uh, doing their due diligence to start doing some soul searching because as I said when you start healing especially when you're dealing with karmics or when you're dealing with people in general that come into your life I feel like you you start to um, you're like a mirror you know it's like you're the student and the teacher and I feel like you're teaching this person or triggering this person to start looking at themselves and I feel like the divine is like forcing them to see how they were coming off right now we have L O Q J, and this is called your jingling baby so yeah there's signs you know this person is receiving a lot of downloads because the jingling is like you know um, I'm thinking of like a bell I'm not thinking about breast jingling <laughs> I don't know, but um, 
you know, I'm thinking of like a bell, like it's bringing uh, um, awareness, sort of. So it's like this person is becoming more aware of what they look like or how they're coming off or the fact that they even, um, you know, that they too have some shadow work to do, that they have some deep-rooted pain and issues and trauma that they need to start healing. So why is this incubus here for our beloved Scorpios, Divine Spirit, of Love and Light? You've definitely completed a very painful cycle, Scorpios, and I feel like there's a lot of abundance and success that's coming in for you all thank you spirit so we have this card here and this is the hierophant so this is your person I feel like this definitely was the person that you were in a committed relationship, but I do feel like there was a lot of differences, whether they were spiritual differences, ethnic differences, belief systems, like you two were on two separate pages. I feel like one of you was in a state where you were more spiritual, more connected, whereas the other person was just more worldly, wanting to soil their royal oat, to be out partying, having fun, just very like almost superficial. And I feel like as you started to do your due diligence and started to you know kind of like devote more time to connecting to your angels your guides being out in nature um, maybe some of you all sought wise counsels started to speak to master teachers started to do more studying um, you know just started to do more work to to gain a more higher perspective or seek higher knowledge I feel like that's also what led you to seeing what this person who this person was you were really in a connection with or who this person was that was really um, kind of like blocking you from your blessings, from opportunities, from success, from your happiness. And when you started to do that due diligence, I do feel like that's what made it easier for you to, you know, kind of release this situation ultimately because the divine himself was giving you food for thought. You know, it was like you was receiving them downloads. A lot of y'all was having a lot of synchronized um, events take place, whether you were seeing like, um, you know, 1010, whether you're seeing 999, 777, it was like 444. You started to have a lot of divine downloads, divine intervention moments where it was like you couldn't ignore it any, more, any longer. And so you paid closer attention. And that's why you started to use more discernment. You started to like pick up on this person's energy that they weren't telling you everything, that they weren't being honest, that they weren't being truthful. We have um, Nas, Queens, get this money. So I do feel like this person was absolutely like riding on your coattail, allowing you, if you're feminine, this was a masculine who was not as responsible. They would literally sit around while you was going out working and then you would have to come home and cook and make sure the car had gas and because this person wasn't doing their part. They weren't playing their role. And it was because this individual really felt like, you know, they were very comfortable because they felt like they, they kind of like gaslighted you enough to make you just carry the load. And that's why I was feeling like with that slip song by our beloved DMX that this person is now feeling like you're slipping away from them and you are slipping away from them because you've taken your control back. This person was able to dupe you for a while but I feel like that time is up. The jig is up. You see clearly you cut the shit off and now they're feeling a little perturbed and this is you very busy doing your work. They see you as very beautiful because you're beautiful inside and out. There's dreams and aspirations that you have. You're rebuilding after whatever they did destroyed the foundation. And I feel like by you making those changes and by you looking at the man in the mirror and doing your internal work and by healing at a soul level, this has led you to refocus, like I said, and rechannel your energy into something creative, into your careers perhaps, into um, you know something artistic, into a passion, you started to hone the skill and you got lost in it and it's creating not only happiness and joy because it's something very simplistic but it's also like building your coins up you know what I'm saying this is like your finances are improving here and it's because you're attracting and radiating love and light in every fashion of the word and I feel like you know this is what this person is starting to realize that you have always been you know, a beautiful soul, a beautiful spirit, and they abuse this. And now that you have awakened, it's almost like they fear losing you. They may want to come back and work on things because they see you as attractive and they know that your beauty is not only 
attractive to them they know you're ultimately attracting a bunch of other folks too and this is what's causing more alarm causing them to feel like damn you know I'm, I'm i'm gonna lose my scorpio i'm gonna lose my opportunity and it's because they was playing them games so with this eight of pentacles this is you you keeping your eyes on the prize you're not afraid of hard work you investing your time your energy your blood sweat and tears into your dreams your goals you're not letting anybody distract you off your path ever again and right now we have broken hearted girl so you all definitely transmuted the pain and you turned it into power this is by tiana taylor it's called broken hearted girl so you turned your pain into power and that's what makes you fucking beautiful because you're resilient even if you're masculine whatever that feminine did to you to break your heart trust and believe you brothers have transmuted that shit and it's going to make you more attractive you know Thank you, spirit. So we got some messages here. So we have this four of wands. So you're going to be attracting. This is that 1111 vibration. So you now are attracting somebody that's going to be on your wavelength, your vibration, somebody that speaks your love language, somebody that's going to make you feel very supported. They're going to be your rock. They're going to be protective of you. They're going to be loving. They're going to be kind and attentive and communicative. And they're definitely going to be your safe haven. And I feel like this is someone that wants to build, someone that wants to grow together, grow old together. This is like the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. And they're not focused on just physical beauty they're focused on you know your internal you know this person will have passion and desire and they will really really want to to invest and commit into this connection because they see you it's like this is that person like remember avatar i see you that's how this person is going to feel to you it's like they're going to see you and seeing you is not seeing your physical being it's like they see your spirit they see you your beauty you know what I'm saying? It's everything to them. And this is what's bringing them in because you've changed your vibration and your frequency. So you're naturally attracting 4444. So this is, in fact, your twin flame, your soulmate. This could be a past life love, someone that you have... Um, you know, you have a very beautiful connection with a very synergetic, very strong connect chemistry. You're going to feel this chemistry here. This is beautiful. And I feel like this is going to lead to like marriage. I feel this person is making their way to you. And I'm hearing that song so loud. It's an old ass song. And I don't know why. <laughs> I'll be working my way back to you, babe. Uh, 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 uh. Can't let it slip away. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing that so loud. So it could be someone, like I said, that could be like a past life connection. You know what I'm saying? But this is the yang to your yin. So this is like a divine partnership. I feel like the divine is um, orchestrating this. Like you may have ancestors, angels, because it was 4444 when we saw this card. So I do feel like it's like you have angels, ancestors, a spirit team that could be ultimately... Um, you know, orchestrating this behind the scenes. So next we have the world card. Can't make this shit up. So there's an ending of a cycle, completion of a cycle. As I said, this world card speaks to all of the enormous changes you've made, how much leveling up, like you've evolved, you've ascended, you've grown. This is about you, you know, mastering yourself, reaching a level of self mastery, changing, you know, ultimately this snake is very representative of change, but it also speaks to, you know, dealing with unsavory energy, people who were deceptive and learning from from those experiences so now you are evolving i feel like there could be travel here there could be someone that you could develop some sort of very strong connection with that could be at a distance from you as well but this says family time build connect and and um check in so you all could be taking trips in this new year this is going to be a two um a six universal year coming up so i do feel like in this six universal year there's going to be opportunities not only for love but for things to be balanced again for things to become um um, more harmonized, if you will. And I feel like that's going to be um, an opportunity for you to be in alignment with your higher self, with your calling. But there's been great lessons, many lessons. And now there's opportunities for the new. You know what I'm saying? When you end cycles, you begin new ones. And I feel like there's a lot of abundance waiting for you. There's a lot of rewards. And the divine himself is recognizing all of the time, energy, blood, sweat, and tears you've put into it. And that's why you're establishing these very, you know, very strong boundaries, you know, 
with people because you're not allowing yourself to go back to this place where you were being abused, um, you were being used, you were being taken for granted, and you were not appreciated for the things that you were doing or for the love and tenderness that you felt for the people around you. So with this high priestess, highly intuitive, highly, highly clairvoyant, like you know without knowing this is someone who knows what she wants you could tell the secrets the lies and that's ultimately what led to you blocking out um any anyone with whom you had to question their motives or anyone you felt had some sort of hidden agenda it's like you was like nah something isn't right and it's because in your your inner gumption was letting you know that it was letting you know that there was something being hidden there was someone telling lies and I feel like that's why you said nah enough is enough everybody's not gonna have access to me the way that they did in the past I'm not gonna constantly be giving and not receiving you know what I'm saying because I feel like there was a lot of emotional bankruptcy going on here where you was constantly giving 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 but you wasn't being um it wasn't being reciprocated with which ultimately led you to feeling depleted give me one moment I'm sorry and so this high priestess is very wise very intuitive like I said very clairvoyant and she is the keeper of ancient wisdom so it's almost like you know anybody who thought they was keeping lies and secrets from you they weren't you knew you know what I'm saying and when you started to trust your own intuition that's when you started to break the illusion because you know this person definitely was you know I feel like you gave people the benefit of the doubt they weren't as smart as they thought they were I feel like you was just very kind and trusting and that's why I was picking up the fact that you know you, you people have to earn your respect you can't just give it away you know what I'm saying and I feel like that's what you're gonna be doing now is like people are gonna have to prove to you that they are worthy you know what i'm saying and i mean that like worthy to be in your presence because you know how you love and you love deeply you know you're very faithful you're very loyal and i feel like you're not going to bend and fold when it comes to you receiving that same treatment and so here we have this eight of pentacles somebody may come back talking about i want to try again and you're like no nah, i'm done <laughs> you know this is over you know what i'm saying and and you're going to keep working on what you're working on on yourself i feel like you're working on yourself you're you know rebuilding what was destroyed that foundation you thought you was building with someone it was destroyed so now you're rebuilding on a stronger foundation and you're working very hard to establish your own sense of independence and self you know sufficiency so that when someone does come in they're gonna have to match or fly and meet you where you are that's what I was saying earlier was like you know Scorpios y'all have you know this that 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 tendency to be like you know that save your spirit you know you want to save everybody you want to nurture everybody but what that does is you you allow a lot of people that ultimately have very little to give you into your life and so most dynamics um, are going to be you giving, you constantly helping and healing and doing all the work, whereas they're not going to be in the position to do the same for you. So now that you're building yourself up to a position where it's like you're healing yourself, you're working on your finances, you're taking care of your children, you're establishing, um, you know, whatever it is within your career, you're like uh, rebranding or rebuilding or you're establishing some sort of business for yourself or you're really focused on your career and your stability, your finances and financial wealth I feel like you're gonna naturally attract now somebody who's either an entrepreneur another uh, you know business mogul or someone who's also been through the same traumas and experiences as you so that when you two come together it's like there is um, this love language that the two of you can absolutely share because you know each other's walk you know you'll you'll understand um, the journey the other one has had because you've both taken it and so it's like you're gonna be around you're gonna be attracting people on your vibration on your wavelength we have Harriet Thugman playing right now by um, Rod Digger so yeah for for the feminines y'all have had to thug this shit out you know what I'm saying with no masculine in sight no masculine around no masculine energy no help you've just had to thug it out you've had to work grind and it wasn't easy it wasn't an easy feat but it was on almost like you had to kind of like um, break free like I said from the illusion um, Harriet Tubman freed slaves and I feel like 
this is very symbolic of the freedom that you was able to access when you completely cut this person off, you know, because this was someone binding you and keeping you stuck and stagnant. And this person may want to come back. And I feel like you can't go back to something toxic. You have to continue to move forward and you just have to appreciate the experiences. But you are deserving of so much more. And I feel like you have to know your worth in order to know that you deserve somebody that's going to put in this type of work, somebody that's going to come in and want to collaborate opposed to ride your coattail and opposed to just sitting and watching you work. You're no longer doing that no more. If they're not going to match your fly, you're not going to put up with it. And that's why you're done because you're, you're, you're building, you know what I'm saying? And so we have here, look at this temperance. So that's what temperance is. Temperance is balance, you know, temperance is patience. Patience takes, you know, is it patience is a form of action and it, it takes, you know, time for something beautiful to manifest. And I feel like because you have found a sense of peace that you have learned that you have to release what doesn't serve you, that you have to detoxify that negativity, that you have to purge, that you have to go through that purification process to cleanse yourself completely. You know what I'm saying? In order to have, you know, something beautiful to come into your life, you got to get rid of all of that ugly, stank, stale, toxic energy, that negative energy. And I feel like that's what's now bringing a sense of balance. You know what I'm saying? That's why you feel this sense of, of balance, this sense of oneness. And it's because, you know, you've had to do your due diligence to heal. You know, this this temperance is about, you know, balancing the scales, but it's also about, you know, transmuting that negative energy and releasing what doesn't serve your highest good. And I feel like as you did your due diligence, as you did your healing, as you, you know, went within, I feel like that's what brought a lot of um, that's what brought a lot of um, balance back into your life, brought you back into equilibrium. And we have prodigy playing um, Mike. Um, what is this called? Oh, it's called Mike. Mike Rock. I don't know what the hell that word is. But this is by Prodigy, Rising Power, beloved. Um, but it says Mike. So, you know, maybe this is about you speaking your truth. You know, you know, because with the microphone, you know, that's what you do. You speak into the microphone and then it will, you know, it will like... Um, you know, it will communicate to those listening to your aud listening audience, um, you know, how you feel, how you're, you know, you're expressing yourself. So I do feel like, you know, you've learned to express yourself more. You've also learned to be patient with the process because, you know, it, it, it's not an overnight um you know, situation where you just, oh, okay, you know, it didn't work out. Okay, I'm better. No, it took some time. And it took some time for you to establish the boundaries. It took some time for you to finally stand your ground, to finally communicate what you needed. You know what I'm saying? To express yourself and to not have any fear. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, this temperance. Temperance means that, you know, everything happens in divine timing. And so you're now expressing yourself and in divine timing, things are going to start unfolding in terms of, you know, whatever is going to, um, you know, whatever you've been manifesting, say, to, you know, so to speak. So we got prodigy and the alchemist uh, and this is called Bible paper. All right. So, yeah, Bible is basic instructions before leaving Earth. So just as I said, you started to seek higher counsel, um, you know, just wise counsel from your ancestors started to vote more time to your angels and your guides with the six of cups. I do feel like, you know, someone could be um, kind of like praying and trying to figure out how to come back. You know, this could be someone from your past with the six of cups or someone you've known since childhood. Or this could be someone who could have been acting a little childish or maybe they're just a little younger. Maybe this is someone that you may have a child with. Um, but what I do feel is I see that this person and look at this person on a mic. And this remember, that was the song. Uh, it said mic. So this I feel like some of y'all might get a phone call. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody may return. Um, this is somebody who may give you a lot of mixed signals. And even though it says she loves me, she loves me not. Um, it could be a he, he loves me, he loves me not. But this is somebody, you know, who could be returning uh, because the Six of Cups is all about, you know, past, uh, you know, past individuals, karmics, people coming back, um, communicating, um, you know, how much they care about you, their affinity that they have towards you. And I feel like you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to consider the source because what I see here is if you look, it's like the divine, you know, the divine himself, you know, see these hands. It's like these hands are handing 
cups. So it's almost like the divine is offering you another opportunity with someone. And you're going to have to use discernment. You're going to have to, you know, question um, whether or not this is sincere or whether or not this is going to work for you. Because this simply may not be your thing now. You know, going backwards is not necessarily something that um, you want to do after you do all this work. So, you know, with this Bible paper, some of y'all may have to, you know, sit down, meditate, pray on it, try to get it straight, see what's going to be best. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what we got. Why is this she loves me? He loves me. Um, mixed signals. Games. Divine spirit of love and light. Let me get one more message. Divine spirit. So they gave me two. I'm not going to take anything that's face down. And so we have the Knight of Swords and then we have the Ace of Wands. So what did I say? There's going to be somebody that comes back. And this is somebody that was giving you a lot of mixed signals in the past. You know, with this Knight of Swords and then you have this um, Ace of Wands. This is definitely somebody who has a lot of passion. Um, somebody who really, really uh, wants a new beginning. They want to express something to you. I feel like they feel like, you know, this is, it's like now or never. Like there's a sense of urgency with this message you know they're coming in quickly uh unexpectedly this is somebody who has a desire to help grow and build and rebuild um a connection you know because with this tree here this could be even somebody that you have planted seeds and roots with you know what i'm saying so you have to use discernment when it comes to this person because i do feel like they're coming in uh and they're coming in um you know wearing a lot of um armory you know armor excuse me so they may be you know a little um defensive uh they could be a little intimidated um you know uh but they're definitely wanting this new start i definitely feel like they are attracted to you crazy and we have prince here i want to be your lover so this person is going to express to you that they want to be your lover you know that they want you you know what i'm saying um and i feel like it's because you know at the end of the day all the work that you're doing, I feel like they fear more than anything you slipping away from them. Bottom of the deck, we got the sun. So there is going to be some communication. I feel like this is going to make you happy. This doesn't necessarily have to be that ex person that you learned the karmic lesson with. This could just be someone that you are familiar with or someone that you know. Um, maybe even if it's not someone you know, you're just going to feel like that um, when you do have this conversation. But someone's absolutely going to express how they feel about you. I feel like this person... You know, we're in the sun sign right now of Sagittarius. So this could be someone that has fire in their chart. Or this is going to be someone who absolutely, um, you know, you may have had uh, some sort of, um, you know, past life connection with this person. There's going to be communication, though. And this person is going to make you happy, you know. But somebody's going to give you some sort of like, there's going to be some level of, you know, an aha moment, an epiphany of some sort. Rising power prince. All right, let's see what we got. I'll turn that back down. I just wanted y'all to hear it. People be thinking I'll be making up. It's like, nah, these songs be coming on, and then that's why I incorporate the music. Like, can't make it up. Yeah, you got victory and success, a breakthrough. There's some sort of major breakthrough. And I feel like this is like a blessing for you because of all the work you've done. It's like the divine is blessing you. And I feel like you know. You can feel it. You can sense it. You know, when you reach that world card, it's like that tells me that you all have, you know, absolutely. You like you have learned to navigate certain, you know, very difficult terrain. You know what I'm saying? We have judication. So there's going to be some sort of positive um, you know, outcome, if you're in, you know, at, you know, if you're going through some sort of legal proceedings, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are going through some sort of marital, like it's a divorce of some sort here. And I feel like things are going to be fine. You know, they're going to be handled amicably. The judge is going to rule in your favor as long as you're just and righteous in your actions. But I do feel like maybe there was a third party uh, situation that caused, um, you know, some sort of uh, separation in a marriage or an ultimate led to divorce. You know, but this is the dissolution of a marriage I'm picking up, you know, and this was very painful, but it's like something that you feel is necessary because you didn't feel respected or honored. Someone is going to try to, you know, look at that. This thief, this incubus, succubus, what did I say? This was somebody that rode your coattail, you know, kind of like stealing your shine. 
And I feel like the more you started to do that work, you know, on yourself and seek wise counsel and do, um, you know, just devote yourself to connecting with your spirit team. I feel like that's what made it really very um, obvious what you was dealing with, dealing with somebody, you know, because this is two people who is, you know, trying to, um, you know, dupe this person, bamboozle this person out of money. You know, they're trying to set them up to rob them. And this is that person. The incubus succubus is very leechy, very parasitic. And so you was giving to a leech. You was giving to somebody who was an energy vampire. And what do you think they're going to do? They're just going to keep on taking, 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 taking. You know, I feel like a lot of you are master teachers, healers, shamans, light workers. You have a very spiritual, strong spiritual connection. You're very spiritual. You could have a spiritual career. You know, like you could literally be like a psychic, a channeler. You could be a scryer. You could be a tower reader or whatever. Um, even if you're into music, I feel like your music is very like soulful. You know, even if you're a hip hop artist, it's soulful, meaning that your lyrics, you have meaning in your words, like in your lyrics. You put, you formulate your words with, with meaning. You know what I'm saying? You're not just making trap music or you're not just making noise because <laughs> that's how I hear it. Like, I just I can't. It irks my soul when I hear, you know, this trap music. It just annoys me that beat. You know what I'm saying? Because people don't realize like the devil controls music like that. That He is the angel that controls. He was a fallen angel, of course, but he controls music and sound and that's why it's very important to use high vibrational frequency certain hertz and things like that and with this hip-hop music i shouldn't even call it hip-hop scratch that name because that's that's what i love is hip-hop but rap music and trap music is they're using these very um low frequencies and that's why you see so much death it's almost like hip, um, rap has become a death culture. That's why you see so many rappers getting killed. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the frequency in the music. And so I feel like for some of you all who do do, um, who does make music, who who are musicians, who who are producers, I feel like you're making soul music because you're speaking to the hearts of people, the souls of people. Even if you are a hip hop artist, there is conscious hip hop and you're formulating your lyrics, you know, you're being responsible with your craft, you know, and I feel like that's what's, you know, you're going to be blissed because of that, because that is absolutely your calling. So I went into that whole diatribe, but that was for somebody out there, whoever you are, you know who you are. So let's see what this is. Incubus, succubus, that thief came right back out. So you was dealing with somebody who was an energy vampire, period. Stealing from you. They was probably stealing finances from you. Stealing energy from you. They was a, a, a taker. You know what I'm saying? And they definitely had third party shenanigans going on. Going on behind your back. And while you was doing your healing. While you was ascending, growing, evolving. Mastering yourself. Healing that self. Healing from past training. Doing your soul work. This is what they was doing. They was tangling in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Keeping lies and secrets and deceit. And I feel like with this 24, once you started to trust your intuition, because mind you, you're devoting time and energy connecting to your higher self, connecting to your guides, your gods. They gave you spiritual guidance to pay attention, to be more discerning of this person you was dealing with. Because this is, I feel like this is your energy and these are the people that were around you, like kind of like um, setting you up, you know, trying to use you. You know, feeling that you was like gullible, you was easy, you know, like it was easy to dupe you out of what they wanted. And these are like family, friends, and I shouldn't even call them friends. It was like, you know, foes, they were frenemies, you know. And so we have here bad health. Now somebody is sick over the fact that they've lost you or they're losing you. They're, you're slipping away. They didn't see your worth and value. This 31 reduces to four. So now you're coming into a very soulful, spiritual you know, union with another person, and this is making someone sick. You know what I'm saying? They're lovesick. They're realizing, damn, you was beauty in every fashion of the word. Whoever they were sitting around, you know, playing these little mind games and in this incubus succubus dynamic with, they got duped by them. They got bit by the snake because whoever you, you know what I'm saying, whatever you, you know, like whatever, you're going to attract what you are ultimately. So I feel like because this person, whoever these negative people were, because they were so nasty. And because they had such cold spirits, I feel like they only attracted other cold, nasty spirits and they ultimately got bit too. But I feel like it, it was like, even if they left you for another relationship or a connection, I feel like it didn't go anywhere. They may have thought it was going to go somewhere. They may have, you know, fell in lust 
with this incubus succubus, you know, had good sex, lusty, passionate, you know, just sexing all over the place, but it didn't lead to anywhere. You know, some of them could have got, you know, some sort of, you know, spiritual transmitted disease or sexual transmitted diseases, you know what I'm saying, which is leading to their bad health, you know, which has led, I should say. While you, on the other hand, are, you know, basking in your good karma, coming into very beautiful spiritual connections, meeting your soul family, soul tribe, other like minds. That's why we have this family time build and connect because you're building like stronger, tighter relationships, connections with people. And it's because you've, you know, broken free from some karmic relationships. You've cut your karmic cords, you know, you've ended those karmic cycles. So why is beauty in, in, um, in every fashion of the word here for our beloved Scorpios, Divine Spirit, and the Four of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. So we have official person. So now this person, I feel like this could be you, you know. There's official person coming in, and this is another four. So this is the yang to your yin. Remember, you got the Four of Wands here. So that's your energy. When, you're, when you find balance and you are, you know, in alignment, you know what I'm saying, when you, you know, because you're independent, you had to break free from a codependent connection relationship, somebody that was vicariously living through you. And you had to learn to stand erect. That's why you was working so hard at rebuilding and restructuring your life. And so as you've done your due diligence, you're now more sturdy, you're solid. And so you're going to attract someone. I'm hearing that solid as a rock. And that's what you are. You guys are. You're attracting another official person. So this person is being attracted to you, drawn to you. You know what I'm saying? Because you've changed your vibration. And they're very attracted to you, not only physically, but also spiritually. There's going to be a deeper, more profound connection because these are two fours. And remember, we saw four, 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 four. So your angels and your guides, your ancestors, I feel, are like kind of conspiring behind the scene. You know, because four and four reduces to eight. Eight is the vibration of the star. The star represents all of the healing, you know, turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower, turning your power and uh, your pain into power and ultimately being blissed and um, granted a wish. You know what I'm saying? Being blissed with miracles. And the miracle is coming into a yin yang divine partnership with someone who's going to be in love with you inside and out, mind, body and soul. And this is a beautiful, beautiful way to teach people how to treat you. So we got the wealthy man. Not only are you attracting another four here. So this person is not only official, you know what I'm saying? This could be somebody who may have, you know, a background in military. Maybe they're, um, you know, doing like um, internet security or, um, um, you know, web security. Or they could be uh, law enforcement. Or they, they're, they're very official. So whoever they are, even if they're not in the military, this is someone who's very solid. You know what I'm saying? This is someone whose word is bond. You know what I'm saying? If they say they're going to do something, they do it. They stand firmly on their square, same as you. This is somebody that you could rely on. This is someone that will be a support system. But I feel like this person is also very wealthy. You may also have multiple suitors that are coming in. And not only is this official person coming through, but you also have someone who's wealthy as well. And this is the number 13, which is your vibration. So that could speak to your energy and vibration as well. You know, the divine, because that 13 is the death card in traditional tarot. But I do feel like you are um, now attracting what you are. Just as I said, you're going to start attracting people who are on your wavelength or that you can ascend to, you know, reach their vibration. You know what I'm saying? But you're never, you're not, you're not going backwards. You're not going down and picking people up. You done, didn't, you, you've been there, done that. You're not, you're not saying saving people anymore because it isn't your job. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could be a beacon of light to people, but um, you're leaving it up to them to do their work. If they do, fine. If they don't, it's, it's like that's not your business. So why is family time build and connect here for Scorpio and the world card? Why is family time build and connect? Thank you, spirit. See that? Somebody's in despair now because you ended things. You done ended this situation because the family that you was, you know, you you was trying to establish this nucleus, you know, this person that you've planted seeds and roots with, they've deceived you. You know what I'm saying? They deceived you. They're re they're realizing when it's too late that you know you've made some enormous changes, and one of the enormous changes was you had to cut yourself free from them because they was a rat. You know, this person was lying. 
They was cheating. They were sneaking around. And we saw that energy because with this incubus, succubus energy and the thief together, this is what they were doing to you for quite some time. You know, with the world card, that could lead, you know, that could mean that you've put 10 years into this connection. And I'm hearing 10 or more. It could be 10. It could be 20 for some of y'all that are, you know, some of my, um, you know, some of y'all seasoned Scorpios, you know what I'm saying? Some of you more wiser, more, more, uh, how do you say more refined, you know what I'm saying? Scorpios, like that bottle of wine, baby, you know what I'm saying? That aged wine is better. And that's what you all Scorpios, you, you seasoned Scorpios, you, you aged beautifully and you've learned a lot in this process. And while you're learning and growing and evolving and transforming, your person is, is in despair because they feel you slipping away you and the train is going by thank you spirit and so you're you're definitely <laughs> okay thank you Okay, so with you, you know, transforming, with you finalizing this situation, cutting yourself free and evolving, you know, not only do you walk away, but you're walking away into abundance, into success, into happiness, into joy, into new beginnings, and you're establishing it looks like a whole new bit, uh, a whole new family uh, construct with someone new, and this new connection is going to be something solid because you're investing time and energy into something that's going to also feed and nurture you but this person's in despair they're missing you and they're missing you because of the changes they're realizing also that they brought a lot of this conflict to you they brought a lot of this drama to you they brought a lot of this unnecessary um you know unnecessary pain to you so everything they made you feel they're now going to feel everything that you've been through they're now going through it. They're going through it tenfold too. And we have um, Matumi playing you, me, and he. So this is the person. And even if it's you, me, and he, we could have you, me, and she. So this person that had you in a third party, realize the person that they may have, you know, abandoned you for was a rat. They got done done. They got done dirty. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that thought the grass was greener on the other side and they got taken for everything that um, they had. And they could be broke. They could be like struggling financially. This is like somebody who's really like, you know, going through the motions right now. And, and they are also feeling the pain. It's like a double whammy because, you know, whoever they abandoned you for did them dirty. But then you're also not, you're, you don't want no, you know, no, no, um, what do you call that? You don't want no leftovers. You know what I'm saying? You want no sloppy seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you didn't choose me. That's cool. I had to heal from that shit, but I'm good. You can't come back to me talking about you want to try again because that shit did. What if it didn't? What if it did work out? Would you have ever come to me and apologize or give me any type of closure? This person didn't even have the decency to tell you why they were leaving, what was going on. They never gave you the answers you were seeking. That's why you're being blissed. Because I feel like y'all had to turn that pain that y'all felt so deeply in your soul, you know, into power. And these are people that you really invested a lot of time and energy. People you were really trying to help, you know, that, that turned on you. You know what I'm saying? And so what do you think happens with that judication? You know, this is this is like the justice system is is like, you know, the, 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 the if you going through, like I said, um, a dissolution of a marriage or you're separating or going through child custody case hearings. It's like it's going to rule in your favor as long as you've been just and righteous, you know, and, and I feel like, you know, the divine is saying that um, everything's going to be handled fairly and justly. I feel like you already knew what was going on and that's why you separated yourself. Uh, and, and set boundaries and block this energy out, you know, and that's that energy like don't disturb this groove. And that's why you're sitting here and you're basking in all this glory. You're being rewarded by the divine. You're being acknowledged for all the healing, major breakthroughs and victories and success because you've been doing your work. And that's another reason why this person is looking sick, because it's like they're literally having to watch you level up, having to watch you shine. And they feel blocked out of your life. They, they they feel like you've slipped. They've allowed you to slip away. You know, they like, how did I let my Scorpio slip the fuck away? Like, I had my Scorpio and they're gone. They're gone forever, damn it. Shoulda did better. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, though. So why is blocka, 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 I think it's not to hear in the high priestess. Mature man. 
So you know you attract an immature man because you've changed your vibration. You're not only attracting somebody mature, but you're attracting somebody with that world card. What did I say? They're going to match your vibration. They've been through the same changes that you've been through. You know what I'm saying? They could be at a distance from you, but they've gone through transformative times and, and circumstances in their life as well. And I feel like, you know, this person has been watching you. They got their eye on you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they're eventually with this number five, they're going to express that, communicate that because that five is, you know, the vibration of the throat. I mean, that's the number of the throat chakra. But with this, I feel like, you know, it's like you already know you're preparing yourself. You know, some of y'all are really like doing, um, you know, you could be because it's like you you know you could sense it you could feel it your spidey senses is going off crazy and and I feel like you know my nose is itching like crazy so I do feel like this past person is definitely going to be nosing around you know they could be doing a whole lot of background checks google checks you know searching you google um you know on google or going to your social media and this is what's causing despair because they know and see that you're coming into a very um strong connection with someone that is on your frequency and vibration that speaks your love language and with this um we have um Gregory Isaacs and Denise uh, or Dennis Brown. It's called Easy Life. So you now things are easier. Things are running smoothly because you're coming into a union with somebody who's mature. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's on your wavelength. Somebody who doesn't play games. Somebody who's not trying to, you know, uh, you know, soil their royal oats or following these lustful um, urges. They, they, they only have eyes for you. They're attracted to you. They looking at you. And this is somebody who's very intelligent, somebody who's emotionally intelligent as well. And so you can feel it, sense it, touch it, taste it, smell it. You, you can feel it all in your body that somebody's coming in and you're blocking out anything, you know, that doesn't serve your highest good. So on the bottom of the deck, look at this child. So I feel like this is somebody who is being a child, who is being immature, and you've given them chance after chance. I feel like also with this 18, you discovered that somebody who was, um, you know, um, you know, somebody may have had a child out of wedlock. Somebody may have had, um, you know, what we call uh, <laughs> uh, ghetto twins. Maybe you found out you was pregnant and, you know, somebody had a karmic pregnant at the same time. So that's like ghetto twins. And this was like this, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. You've re-channeled all of that pain into power and you, you finalize this situation by saying, I'm done. Maybe this is someone you have a child with and that's the reason why they want to work together. They want to try to work this out. Um, you may have a daughter or a son, you know, I feel like some of y'all could be pregnant with child and you may find yourself working extremely hard, um, you know, because, you know, whatever you was dealing with, someone you was dealing with, things didn't work out. You know, you had these expectations, you was planting these seeds and roots, so you thought only to discover somebody was just kind of using and abusing you. And kind of like, you know, deceiving you ultimately. And so I feel like, you know, you're working really hard to, you know, provide for your children, for your family. You're working really hard at, you know, ensuring that you are building a legacy for your children. You know, that you never teach them to just lay down and, and be a doormat or to just, you know, appease and please people. You're showing them you know, how to work for what you want, how to work hard, how to keep your eyes on the prize to accomplish your goals. And I feel like this is also, you know, also showing, you know, that you are done with a situation with someone with whom you could have had a child with. Um, and so we have unexpected income. So this is definitely going to be rewards. And I feel like because you took the time, the divine is saying good things take time to create. Patience is a form of action. Well, you've been very active, you know, and not only active, but proactive in the process. And you know that everything um, that, you're, that you've been working on is going to garner some sort of reward, success, um, some expansion in your life. And you know it's just a matter of time. And there it is. It's coming in divine timing. This 27, this is the highest number of change. Your finances are going to change and improve for the better. And it could be because that wealthy man could be entering into your life. And that person will be very supportive of your dreams. Why is standing firmly on your squared and temperance here? For our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light. Why is standing firmly on your square and uh, temperance here? For our beloved Scorpio's. Why is standing firmly on your square and temperance here? For our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit. So somebody's really like, you know, some of y'all have been just waiting and waiting and, 
you know, you feel like, you know, when is love coming? When is this coming? When is change coming? When is this new job offer coming? And it's like, you know, the divine is telling you to trust the process. You know what I'm saying? Just trust because something beautiful is coming. We have this stand firmly on your square. So somebody's definitely feeling sick, sick over you, you know, and it's because you've, you, you, you're, you're back in equilibrium and you're not allowing, you know, anything that does not serve your highest good into your life. And I also feel in divine timing, someone new is coming into your life that's going to bring balance. You're going to feel like you have met your uh, divine partner, that you have met someone that was especially sent to you by the divine, but you're not allowing someone back regardless, you know, and I feel like this is what's making them sick because you're choosing to finally be done with that situation. And so they're going like they're sick in the head. They're heartbroken as well because that 31 reduces to four. So their heart is really broken. They're feeling really sad over you. They're getting these messages of concern. And this is like what's changing them. Like, you know, somebody could have called them and said, yo, I heard, you know, your Scorpio is engaged. You know, like I saw pictures online or oh, I heard your Scorpio just eloped. And, you know, this is something that's really causing them a lot of pain, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. Why? Because they had you and they let you slip away. Remember that DMX song? They let you slip away because they thought they were smarter than they were playing a lot of games. They thought that they had their grip, you know, that they had a grip on you. And you all are going to be enjoying an easier life, stress-free life. So we have She Loves Me, She Loves Me Not, the Ace of Wands, and the um, Knight of uh, Swords. So look at this. What did I say? Somebody is going to reach out and communicate to you. This is a secret admirer. Somebody is finally going to say how they feel. They may call you. They may text you. They may email you, they may DM you, but you have someone who, you know, I feel like maybe this is someone that you, if you work acquainted with this person, I know I missed the she on the, the other one. I got to fix that. I keep saying I got to fix it, then I forget. But um, with this person that's coming in, this is somebody who absolutely is coming in to express their, how they feel. And with this seven, I feel like with, I feel you can feel it. You can sense it. It's like, you know, intuitively, you're picking up on it intuitively, psychically, because you're a high priestess. So you are, you like almost, you know, preparing to have this conversation and it's going to lead to some sort of forward movement, a new beginning, a new start. It's like a fresh new start. I feel like there's a lot of passion between you and this person, a lot of attraction, a lot of fire, a lot of desire, but this person is going to express how they feel. We have right now, um, R. Kelly, uh, thank God it's Friday. So I do feel like, you know, this person may reach out to you on a Friday. Um, but I do feel like this person is, uh, absolutely going to express to you, uh, something that they may have hid for a while. And I feel like it's going to be, you know, perhaps shocking, um, this could be someone that, you know, like I said, you could have um, some history with. Maybe there was like this runner chaser type of dynamic. Um, somebody that you always felt was like your person, the one that got away. They may return. And I feel like, you know, this is somebody who was afraid to express these feelings or afraid to acknowledge them. Um, they didn't want to acknowledge uh, these emotions, you know, because I feel like, you know, for some reason they're intimidated by you or maybe they told themselves, um, oh, it ain't going to work or, you know, maybe the distance, you know, maybe there is a sense of distance between you and this person. And so maybe they felt like, you know, oh, well, the distance is, you know, a factor. Um, but I do feel like this person is going to, uh, be honest at some point, you know, with how they feel. And because this song, Thank God It's Friday playing, I feel like this person may reach out to you and it may be a Friday when you hear from them. And we got main female here. So definitely um, you, if you are female, you are the main female. They see you as the main female. This person may, um, yeah, this person sees you as their uh, divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay, my camera froze up on me. I apologize. Um, but yeah, they see you as the main female. You know, they see you as someone very loving, very nurturing, very mature. You know, you have a beautiful home. You're very wise. You're very emotionally intel intelligent, very attentive, very domestic. 
you know, and I feel like because you're carrying this rose, I feel like this person may gift you a bouquet of roses and it may be from a, you know, a secret admirer. This person may look your information because I get a sense that someone's like, um, like looking up your information online, uh, like in a, an address um, for you online and they may just like gift you with a bouquet of flowers and it may say like a secret admirer and it may be a sign somebody could have been born in the seventh month on a seventh day uh, maybe some of you all um, were born on 11 7 or um, maybe um, October 25th October yeah October 25th but I feel like yeah, somebody's definitely going to reach out and tell you like, yo, I'm really feeling you. I feel like they're going to send you a bouquet of flowers. Let me get one more message. And we have hoodie season right now. And this is by Styles P. So yeah, this person has been hiding how they feel because when you wear hoodies, you can't really see somebody's face. Look at this. Mature woman, mature man is here. So this is like I said, yin yang connection, divine feminine, divine masculine. This is preordained. This is definitely somebody that's the yang to yin, yin to yin yang because this is the five and six. That's the 11 vib vibration. And remember, we had this four of wands, right? And that four is 11, 11. So this person is someone that is the yang to your yin yin to your yang i think this person is at a distance from you and i feel like the two of you you're you're like it's almost like you're longing for one another you know what i'm saying i feel like you're highly intuitive if you are a female if you are a feminine and i feel like this person knows that i feel like there's a lot of like intuitive or telepathic messages or maybe the two of you like dream of one another a lot of dream activity maybe even astral projection like someone viewing you remotely there's something going on where there's like somebody's like you know because this high priestess man like there, there's this energy of like a higher sense of knowledge you know, and it's almost like you're preparing, you're ready for this person. There will be communication. This person's going to communicate because right now they're hiding from you. You know what I'm saying? Like this, almost like they're in hibernation because I hear hoodie season and hoodie season is when the temperature gets a little colder. So in colder weather, a lot of the animals go into hibernate, you know, so this person could have been in a, like a hermit mode, somebody that you haven't heard from in a while. Um, you know, like I said, this could be somebody you could have worked with. Um, somebody that you could have known since childhood, somebody that used to live on your block as you know, somebody that, you know, I feel that has an affinity towards you. You may not know that they have this inf affinity towards you, but you know, this person, you know, you know, this person and this person knows you. There's a sense that this person knows you. And I feel like somebody's going to be sick because it's like you're coming into a divine connection here and there's nothing no one can do about it. And this wealthy man, look at that. You might have multiple suitors, honestly, Scorpios. You're going to have a lot of people looking at you. And it's because, look at this. This is leading to marriage. Somebody's going to come in and they're going to like, this person is going to be very chivalrous, very charming. This is somebody who is like very, like money is not an option. They're going to spoil you rotten. If you're a feminine, this masculine is going to spoil your ass with trips. You know what I'm saying? They're going to take you on trips, a lab, you know, a, um, lavish trips. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might have, I'm hearing destination wedding. Some of y'all, for some of you all. This is beautiful, man. This person's very, they got they got their eyes on you. And this is, again, that four, which is that 1111. This is going to take you on a whole new pathway. And remember that Easy Life song was playing by Gregory Isaacs. So you're going to have a very easy life. Things are going to be more simplistic. Look at these butterflies. Things are transforming for the better. And right now we have MVP by Big L. So, yeah, so this person is going to be more valuable to you than you ever even imagined. And I feel like this person also sees you um, and your authentic self. Like they see through uh, all of the, you know, all of the the exterior shit. It's like this person looks into your soul because he's watching. See how this this it's this, like there's a sense of like just watching, you know. Somebody's just keep keeping their eyes on you. Look at all these masculine and feminines. If you are a feminine, even if you are masculine, like you got a lot of suitors. People are like attracted to you like a moth to a flame, baby, like a moth to a flame. And it's because you've done your work. It's because you've been healing. It's because you're now attracting what you are. And that's why you got this family time bill connect check in because you're starting to attract like your real soul family, your real soul tribe. So this is a beautiful reading, man. I want to get a couple of... um. A couple of oracle messages and then we're going to wrap it up.
So look at that. Karma. What did I say about this being your karma? <laughs> karma Dharma. What you put out in the universe, you get back tenfold. So there's going to be a favorable, you know what I'm saying, ruling here. You know, you're going to receive some sort of positive outcome. Things are being handled fairly and justly. Look at this. Unconditional love. You're being shown unconditional love. Why? Because you're radiating love. And because you love yourselves unconditionally. These three cards want to pop out and I'm going to let them. And look what it is. Prosperity. What did I say about y'all coming in to some form of abundance? You're being rewarded, recognized. Your hard work is paying off. All that hard work you've been putting into your craft, you know, into your gifts, honing your skills, mastering your skills, sharpening your sword is a big payout. And you got a star. So you are the divine feminine, divine masculine. So that means that you have ascended. You've grown. You've reached that level of self-mastery. You know, and this is why you're seen as beautiful in every fashion of the word. Because this Astara, which is the empress vibration, that's the divine feminine. And she knows and he knows if you are masculine that the divinity of the divine feminine is to create. So not only are you creating here. You know, whether in your career, career where you're growing or you're, you know, being promoted in your career, you're working hard to, you know, you know, to uh, achieve certain goals. Or if you're just working on your own uh, personal goals and endeavors, if you have a business of your own, you will have success here. And we see that because you're being blissed by the divine. Remember that Ace of Pentacles showed up in the beginning of the reading with the African-American Tarot. And this is the divine assuring that, just as I said. So you're being blissed with some sort of new financial opportunities. And you just have to open up to receive this because you've put in the work. And with this Empress energy, you're a master manifester. You turn your thoughts into reality. You definitely are highly intuitive. And you've been listening to your intuition, which is what led to you finalizing this, you know, toxic cycle, completing these karmic lessons. And now you are, you know, ascending and growing and evolving. And you're also seen as very powerful, you know, very magical, very masterful in everything that you do. But you're also loving. You're also nurturing. You're caring. And that's ultra, you know, ultimately what attracted you to these type of people. Because you, you, you know, you tend to be, you know, that's that, that um, savior um, complex that you all had. And so with Uzi weighs a ton by J Electronica, I feel like, you know, the, the, you know, the smoking gun was, you know, finally seeing people for who they were and finally also seeing yourself for who you were and how you were coming off to other people, you know, so in order for you to, you know, see who you are, you have to absolutely remove the veil from your eyes the rose colored glasses and i feel you did that and that's why the divine is blessing you with this abundance this prosperity this success this opulence this expansion and that's the reward for completing those cycles the world card represents like you being congratulated and it's for your strength you know your independence is a foundation for your security for your stability you know, for ultimately your success, but you are strong. And I feel like you had nothing more to lean on than your strength. You had to brave your light. So those circumstances that you was dealing with, this incubus, succubus energy, energy vampires, parasitic energies, leeches, people riding your coattail lines, stealing, cheating, sneaking, you know, people who were betraying your trust, backstabbing you, smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back. All those people, they got to pay for what they did because the divine knows all, sees all, and they definitely see that you had a good intentions, but you also had to discover just how strong you were and, and you'd realize how strong you were. When you was putting in that work to heal from these connections and by changing yourself, this home is speaking to you, finally saying, I'm moving, I'm leaving, I'm getting away from this toxicity. And you had to establish a new foundation. So you may have, you know, either removed yourself from a home or you may have um, told someone they have to leave your home. This could even speak to the physical body. You're a vessel, you know, or your um, your temple, you know what I'm saying? Your physical body, you made some changes. Remember, there's something in my heart. So you started to listen to your own heartstrings, that inner gumption. Your stomach is your second second brain. So a lot of y'all started to listen to, you know, that gut instinct. And that's that, you know, that's the reason why this high priestess was here. And that's what led you to go down that rabbit hole to discover that, you know, this incubus had third party, party of four and five. That they was out there creeping and sneaking and sleeping around. 
So let me get a couple more. Let me get two more messages from the um, Goddess Guidance Divine Spirit. So you are very strong and your strength is absolutely why you're having this very happy outcome. And I'm taking those. In the bottom of the deck, we have receptivity. So be open to receive the new. Be open to receive the new. Do not be, you know, shut off because this energy, don't get it twisted. If you stay in this energy, you know, for the wrong reasons, you could block out a lot of good things from your life. So it's like create boundaries, but, you know, be mindful of the boundaries that you're creating. Don't do it out of, um, you know, out of pain. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't just block everybody out. You got to use discernment, you know, and I feel like you're very intuitive, you know. You know when to open up. You know who to open up to. But you've definitely completed a cycle. So this is a double confirmation of you finalizing, you know, or triple confirmation, I should say, because we have done, done, and fin. And that's absolutely what the world means. That's the ending of a cycle. And with cycles and rhythms, that's what you did. You started to trust the cycles and rhythms of your body, your mind, your spirit, and your emotions. You know, you started to pay attention to how you felt around certain peer people. You started to feel, you know, how your energy would kind of shift around this incubus succubus energy and i feel like your spidey senses as i said was tingling and you knew that this person wasn't telling you the whole truth you knew that they were lying and deceptive we have fuck with dre day here by dr dre so this person was fucking with you you know fucking with your happiness with your peace you know divine timing something is taking place easy does it so don't try to rush the process. Don't try to force anything. I feel like the divine wants you to just trust the process because everything is happening in perfect timing, you know? So you don't have to question. You are the divine feminine. This is the Aphrodite energy. So you're moving to the beat of your own drum now, and you're doing things that make you feel happy and satisfied. You're no longer allowing yourselves to be used and abused because you're in your power now. You're stronger now. You know what I'm saying? You're being more creative now. And I feel like there's a victory coming in, this communication, because this bird is coming in and he's holding these wreaths. And this is somebody from your past because it's almost like she's looking back, reaching back, and somebody's going to catch you off guard. But this is somebody who's watched you literally really transform and this person is very attracted to you and not only are they attracted to you physically but they're attracted to you and are um you know kind of like yearning for you you know your spirit is beautiful it's pure they've recognized that you have made some changes you know some of y'all have like grown your hair out maybe when they saw you last time your hair was shoulder length now it's down to your ass maybe your person has recognized that you have like slimmed down a lot so you know you may have lost a lot of weight or maybe you're dressing different you may have bought a new wardrobe but i do feel a sense like you're now practicing healthy self-care you're taking better care of yourself so you may be taking the time to do like weekly, bi-weekly uh, mani-pedis. You're doing things like threading your eyebrows if you're a feminine, even masculines. You're, um, you know, getting your nails trimmed and slimmed and getting your feet manicured as well uh, because you're in, you know, you, you are confident and you are... Um, it's like you don't care what anybody thinks no more. It's like you're, you're doing what you want to do. So whereas in the past, maybe somebody be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's some feminine shit getting your toenails done. And you're like, man, fuck that. My toenails shit. I need these bitches clipped. Like my motherfucking like these nail clips. I'm, a, I'm in here. I'm going through my third nail clip. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? Feet looking like rough. So it's like now y'all are like, yo, let somebody else handle this. That's not mass. That's not feminine. It's just it's self-care. And so many of you masculines could be doing that. Going and getting your beard trimmed. Putting some conditioning on your beard, making it smell good, giving, you know, like just taking care of yourselves, not just letting yourself all, you know, looking all grungy and shit no more. It's like you're starting to, you know, because when you feel better, it's like you feel better because you of the time and, and um, attention you're giving to yourself. It's like when you don't have that person there to distract you anymore, it's like that and that energy you was given to them it's like you're now it's now preserved for yourself and so now you're you know but the, whoever this is I, I feel like they're starting to notice those changes those small little changes and it's because you started to implement some really positive like self-care you're very protected you're very protected your spirit god your angels your ancestors they have been protecting you and they've been the ones like giving you the guidance they're protecting you spiritually because there could have been a lot of like like we saw in the beginning a lot of yokes 
a lot of generational curses. And I feel like, as I said, some of you all were assigned the Avenger in your families to break those yokes, cut the karmic cords, and ultimately the generational curses. And you have been guided, you know what I'm saying? You've been spiritually protected and guided along the way. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you all know that, can feel that, can sense that. And as I said, with this energy, it also feels like, you know, they're um, kind of like, you know, a, you know, assigning someone to you. You know, there's like someone, you know, this there's conspiring behind the scenes. Miracle. What did I say about wish fulfillment? Wishes being granted, miracles taking place. Expect a miracle, beloveds. There's beautiful things coming in for you, and it's not for no reason. Not only do you have prosperity here, but you have expect a miracle. And it's because of the work that you've done. You cannot make this shit up. You can't pretend to do this work because the divine sees all. And that's what the divine is acknowledging is all of the work that you've put in. That's why the Ace of Pentacles opened up the reading because you are coming in to some sort of financial blessing, some sort of wish fulfillment, something you've been asking for, praying for, hoping for. This freaking this um, Eight of Pentacles is absolutely going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles very quickly. And the Ten ultimately is the Ace of Pentacles all over again. So there's expansion here. There's new beginnings. And we have right now, um, we have Gonna Love Me. Um, this is Tiana Taylor featuring Ghostface Killer, Method Man, and Raekwon. And it says Gonna Love Me. So you're going to find someone, come into a union with someone who is going to love you. Love you right is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. They're going to love you right. So beautiful Scorpios. I know this was a long one. You know how I like to do them deep dives. But I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I will that you all enjoyed your holidays or your holy days with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. I hope that you all have found reasons to be thankful. Um, life is a very, you know, every day wake up and say thank you, divine, for the gift of life. That's one of the things I've been doing for the past 10 years. Is That's the first thing. Some of you all may need to start, you know, creating, um, you know, uh, um, gratitude, um, a gratitude um, journal. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, you know, sometimes we lose track of how much uh, work we've done. And if you acknowledge it every day, it makes every day just that much more um, of a blessing of, 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 you know, of, um, of a beautiful gift. You know what I'm saying? You learn to appreciate just the little things in life. You know what I'm saying? But I do appreciate you all so much for tuning and tapping in. I also appreciate you all for getting me to the 5,000 mark. I will be creating another video either today or tomorrow. Um, to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a video and then uh, whoever wants to um, join, you know, the, the sweepstake, I'm going to just take your names down. I'm going to put it in a box and then I'm going to do it on, you know, a, maybe a live video and I'm going to choose the winner there. Um, and then I'll just put a post with the name and then give me your address and then I'll send you off um, my little magical wand that I created a couple of weeks ago. But I just want to say thank you so much. If you're new, I hope that you return. I um, hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. But love is love. Is love, is love. Please be kind. Um, um, to hit the like, share, subscribe button, help to grow the channel, um, help to get the message out there for those who may need it. Um, hit the bell notification because YouTube has done some updates, so it will unsubscribe people. And if you don't hit the bell notification, you will not know when I'm uploading. Um, and I don't want y'all to miss that sweepstakes. Um, also, I will be adding videos to my uh, meditation channel very soon uh right now i'm just i got a lot of other things going and um you know i'm a multitask i know y'all can understand that because we 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 be having like we like octopus arms and shit we be doing five and six jobs at one time my nose is itching a lot so i do feel like somebody's really nosing around spying stalking you know trying to get some information and um i definitely feel that i don't know why but i just pick up on somebody really trying to like get some sort of information but um you know definitely um come back check in uh there'll be another video like i said to tell you how to join this week's aches but thank you so much for tuning in it's happening until next time ashe peace <laughs>